Hey y'all, just my kayak catfish. Today's video didn't start out like I had hoped, but it ended up being okay in the end. I had set my alarm for five o'clock because I wanted to get out here before dawn and get set up and take advantage of that early morning bite right there at dawn. And unfortunately, I set my alarm clock for 5 p.m. and not 5 a.m. And I don't know about you all, but I ain't the type of person that's gonna wake up at 5 a.m. without an alarm clock. So I got out here kind of late. I didn't get set up on the water until 8 a.m. And I, so I missed out part of that, that bite right there at dawn, but thankfully it was still on. And from about 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., I was catching fish left and right. I mean, I was getting, even if I wasn't catching them, I was still getting a lot of action, taps and, and baits and rods going down. So uh, it was a good morning out here. But what I had done is kind of what you've been seeing me do in some other previous videos. I hit another creek out here. This, uh, this creek, the mouth of it's about 37 feet deep. I anchored right in the mouth of it and I had my bait suspended a couple feet off the bottom. I had went out last night to try to catch some bait. I was out there with a the cast net throwing around. Couldn't find any shad anywhere. That creek I was in, it was just devoid of shad. If they were in there, they were deep. I just couldn't find them. But I had my ultralight rod with me too, so I was making some casts along the bank. I got a couple crappie that were over 10 inches, so those are legal baits to use. I also got uh, into some largemouth bass. I only caught one of them that was uh, met the size requirements, like 16 and a half inches, so I kept it to use for bait. And then I also got some bluegill uh, today as well, but most of my fish today came on crappie. Crappie was the bait of the day, uh, especially with the flatheads. They were, uh, I think all of them were caught on the crappie. So. Uh, it's been a good day. I've caught several fish out here today and some good ones too. I've had a lot of fun. Here's the video. See my rod tip right there, guys. Look at that. Just a little bit of weight on it. It's not really taking off. It's just kind of bouncing around a little bit. It's really acting like a flathead. So that's a big section of bait on there. Big piece of crappie, so. We'll see if my rod tip really just shoots off here in a second, and we'll, we'll let him take it. If it's a small flathead, it may not even have the whole piece of bait in his mouth. So I want to make sure he gets hooked up. That rod behind the camera just got hit. Look there, there that one goes. There that one goes. Oh man, that's on a big largemouth bass head. That's on a big largemouth bass head. Last night, 16 and a half inches. Caught several bass. That is the only one big enough to keep. This ain't a big fish for the size of the bait he ate. Just a dink. Well, he was hungry this morning. He ripped my daggone bass head off there too. Dang. That is the only bass I got big enough to keep, so. It's the only bass head I was going to have today. Oh, no, no, my, my head's still in there. My head's still in there. Bring him in here so I don't lose that head. Man, he, he's got that thing wedged in there. Let me see if I can get this camera and show you. Let me see. You can see it in there. <laughs> that largemouth bass head is about all he can choke down, buddy. about all he could handle. Got it back, my gosh. <laughs> all right, guys, there he is. Get the whole line undone from him there. Let's let him go. I'm gonna pick up on this other rod over here. If he ain't hooked by now, he ain't gonna be hooked. This was, yeah, he just come undone. Just let it go. Probably, like I said, that's a big section of bait. It was probably just a small fish that had the bait in his mouth but didn't have it, didn't have the hook. It's all right, so we got one. Got the old bass head back. Let's drop it back down. Right there, right there. I got weight on that one. That one got hit. Put this camera over here. Both of them got hit. pick up on him. That other one got thumped, but it never took off. This one again, this front rod here that I've got, that was that section of crappie. That back rod there's got a crappie head. 
which it's a pretty big bait too. It was a 12 inch crappie, so pretty big baits. Look at that pool now. Look at that pool. Golly, bud, man. He took off. I'm inclined to believe this front one here is probably a flathead in my hand because like I said I've had one messing with that I'll probably edit out part of the footage just because it'll take too dang long but uh, I've had a fish messing with this front rod it is a flathead it is it is he's been down there messing with it for 15 minutes ain't a bad flathead either man ain't a bad one That's what he eat right there. It's a chunk of crappie. All right, there he is. I got that daggone sun behind me, so you won't see all the colors on him. But another beautiful flathead, man. Got the brown, yellow, black. <laughs> He's been messing with that rod. Rod back there is getting hit too. There it goes. There it goes. Let's let him go. Is he still on there? No, I think you let it go. Ah, oh, you let it go. There it go. It's all right. He'll be back for it. I'm going to get this other bait back down there. That one's getting hit, but that one's got something on it. I didn't even feel that one bite. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Never even felt that one bite. <laughs> I just looked over and saw my rod tip. <laughs> That's on that body section of crop again. But you anything, he's another flathead just the way he was acting. Yep, sure is. It's another one. This creek mouth right here, buddy, it is producing today sitting at 37 feet right now. I'm right here on the edge of this creek where it comes up in here and dumps off the main channel. I was hoping to I was hoping to get on some flatheads out here today. It's just that time of year. Water temps 63 right now. It's really heated up these last couple weeks. This warm weather we've had. Get that same piece of crappie that the other one ate. I think up there might be a smidge smaller. <laughs> Still a nice fish though, man. Nice fish. That's a little darker in color too. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Alright, let's let him go. See ya, buddy. <laughs> He's out of here. And there he goes, finally. There he goes. There he goes, buddy. I know it's just a matter of time. <laughs> He's pulling with it now. Y'all, that fish right there fooled me. I thought for sure he was a flathead. I mean, he kind of hit it, and I had weight on my rod tip, and it just kind of sat there and bounced around a little bit. You know, typically these blues, they hit it, and they're gone. Flatheads are the one that'll sit there and mess with it a little while, and that fish... I mean, he sat there a while with it. And it finally took off. And, oh, goodness. Now he's going to get wild on me. <laughs> Let's let him go. Get on out of here with that energy. There he goes. He's pulling with it. I just let that blue cat go when I had reset my cameras. And this one took off. I ain't even got my other bait or my other rod baited yet. This one ain't that crappie head. It's been a good morning. I, this is all, you know, I have to edit out most of the footage on these videos, but this is all within the first hour, every fish I've caught here. Let's see what time, yeah. It's 8.49 right now. I got on the water at 8 a.m. I got set up, started fishing at 8 a.m. 
It's been a good morning here, these first 49 minutes. Right there, crappie head. And an angry blue cat. <laughs> Man. It's been fun this morning, y'all. It's been fun. I wish I hadn't overslept. I would have loved been out here right before dawn, get that bite right as the sun was coming up, but it just didn't happen to me. When you set the PM instead of AM on your phone, it don't go off when you want. <laughs> when I'm using crappie or skipjack or any bait, I like to cut that dorsal fin off up there. I cut it completely off and that way it don't interfere with your hook set at all. And sometimes, you know, that if that fin flares up, it can interfere with your barb when you run through there. I'll just take a pair of these kitchen shears here, trim some right off. A little tip right there, might catch you an extra fish. What's going on here now? I'll lose that camera off the mount. There. Pick up on that rod. <laughs> Fooling that camera again, about lost it off the top of the mount. Look at him go now. Look at him go. That one's on the largemouth bass head. <laughs> Cause that camera about to come loose. I'm about to ditch that second camera today, y'all. <laughs> I'm over it already. A little blue cat right there. That's the second fish off that bass head. You know, large mouth bass head, they work. I'll use them, I can't get in that nails. All right, there we go. Not a bad little blue cat. <laughs> he took that rod over hard, buddy. He's fairly long, he ain't very fat. He's a longer fish, I'm gonna set him here on board and we'll get a length on him. Bend his tail down, he'll reach 34. <laughs> Let's let him go. He was fine. I'm moving on to the next one. Hit right there now. Got hit. That's got weight on it, buddy. That's got some weight on it. There he goes. Boy, he's pulling. There, if I can. Watch me lose this fish fooling with that camera. That'd be par for the course today. <laughs> Sun's starting to get up now. It's almost 10. Yep, that's another flatty. Another flathead right there. It's like probably about the same size as the other ones. I'm just kind of building up the size range today. And I'm catching them coming in and out of this creek. Get them up here. Right there, chunk of crappie. Another flathead, buddy. <laughs> Those are awesome fish, ain't they? I mean, they are just the, they're the ultimate predator out here, out here where I fish don't get any better than this. Catching them on cut bait here in the spring. I'm gonna sneak a quick pick of this one with my phone for the social media garbage that I do. <laughs> you can follow me at Kayak Catfish on Instagram and on Facebook if you choose to. I try to interact with people on there best I can and best I have time for. All right guys, one last look at him there. <laughs> Let's let him go. Go home. Get big. And I got my bait back there too, so I'm going to drop it back down, and I've still got one whole crappie left that I haven't even cut yet, so. Been a good morning. Let's keep it going. Two rods. Oh, that one's gone, buddy. That one's gone. Oh, he's pulling. He's pulling. Oh, he tried. Still going. Maybe. 
Got hit on two rods at the same time. That one took off. That one felt like a striper the way he was pulling. I think that one's still on there actually. This one. I'll move that rod out of the way. He swam under it. And that one just did not hook up for whatever reason. But he acted like a striper in the way he took off. Crappie head's about had it, ain't it? <laughs> We've got our use out of it. There's that little fella. We got one out of the two that hit at the same time. Man, that bass head, it's about chewed up. It's about had it, but if it's still on there when I reel it in, I'm gonna drop it back down. Like I said, it's the only one I got. And that was a good takedown that I had. Would have liked to have got a hold of that fish. The bait's still on there good. It wasn't foul hooked or anything. It must just not have, must just not have ate the bait completely. Probably just clamped down on it and was gone and never got the hook. Bait that size and they pretty much, it's got to be a, either got to be a big fish for them to just be able to engulf the bait or it's got to be a small fish that just, like that first fish that I got on that bass head this morning where it just eats it perfectly and almost chokes itself on it to get it down. I think I'm going to switch this crappie head out with the, with that other one down there. This one's about had, you know, crappie's one of them baits that kind of like bluegill, it just don't bleed very much. You just don't get a, don't get a lot of use out of it. I got, a, I got another one there too that I'm going to use. I got two two keeper size crappie last night. I got that largemouth bass. I got several bluegill. I took my cast net out initially. I was going to get some shad. I just didn't see any shad where I was at. There wasn't nothing flipping, wasn't nothing going on. And I made a few throws anyway, didn't get nothing. So I took my ultralight rod and just beating the banks. Throwing it to brush piles and down trees and you know, got a few fish for today. Times are hard. Use what you got to use. I don't care if it's a crappie, bass, whatever. I use it. Cut them fins off there. Just like I do on the others. These kitchen shears. Let's put this head on and drop it down. This right here is how I hook them. I just take that hook go up under the gill plate there and basically just pop it out a nostril. I'm suspend fishing today. I'm anchored down. So I told you earlier I'm anchored down this creek mouth here. I'm 37 feet. Get my rod, my line untangled. I have... Oh, 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 oh. Goodness, goodness. Goodness, that's the one, buddy. That's the one I want. That's the one I want right there, I think. <laughs> just drop that. Just drop that line over in the water and he's already got tangled in it. <laughs> that was a massive takedown. Massive takedown. As I was saying before he interrupted me, I am anchored down in this creek mouth. And I have my bait suspended under me, directly under me, about two feet off the bottom. 37 feet. And so I'm just out here at the end of it, right here where it dumps into the main channel. And I'm catching these fish going in and out of this creek. You know, they, it's, we're into spring now, water temp 63. I could be getting these fish up shallow right now, but when they move back in this creek, they could go anywhere. I don't know where they're going to go. But out here at the mouth of it, I know where they're coming in and I know where they're going out of. And that's where I'm trying to get them. It's the, it's the best one of the morning. And the 
Yes, buddy, he is pulling, ain't he? He is pulling. Go ahead and stand up, bring this one in. He's full of energy. That one right there, buddy, he's, he's long for his size. He's a long, skinny fish, but buddy, he's full of power. He pulled hard. Got my lines all tangled up, something terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, buddy. Look at that. That's a long fish for no fatter than he is, but I'm gonna tell you something, he fought hard. He was digging the whole time. <laughs> that is nice. I'm gonna throw him on this board here. Like I said, it's a long fish, I'm curious just to see how long he is. That fish right there is almost 36 inches long. <laughs> Man, buddy. All right, I'm gonna let him go and get these baits back down. Look at you, Mr. Blue Cat. And he gone. Huh. Well, shout out to you, Doug. Apparently, Doug is watching me uh, from one of these houses here and just emailed me to say he's watching the show. He says the kitchen show and not a fishing show out here this morning. So thanks, Doug. I appreciate you watching. <laughs> oh, goodness. There goes that fish, buddy. There goes that one. Fish on. Fish on. I was just about to reset my camera after giving Doug the shout out there. Doug, if you're watching, this one's for you. <laughs> He's on it. Every one of these fish have been just full of energy out here today. Every single one of them. Well, let's let him go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put me. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a piece of bluegill on there. I ain't a fan of bluegill, especially cut bluegill. But you know, every now and again, you light into one with it. I got several, so might as well make you some. Here we go. Here we go. It's on that bass head again. But he's taking off with it. He's taking off with it. He was pulling. Oh, there goes that one right too. There goes that one. We've got another school moved in this creek now. Listen, I don't think. We've got a double on y'all. I've sat here for two hours and not had a peck. Not had a single peck. And now another round of them come through. That's how it goes when you fish in places like this, you know, just they either here or they ain't. But if you stay here long enough, they'll come back through. I apologize if there's noise on the camera. Lawnmower man's out here. We'll need Doug to call his neighbor, tell him we're doing something out here. <laughs> we'll have to put that mowing on hold a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna set this one back here a minute. That one's on that bass head. I'll pick up and see if this is still on. No, that one's gone. That one's a gone. I'm gonna drop it back down just a second. I was getting ready to leave. It's about noon now and the sun's been down. Like I said, I hadn't had a bite in two hours. Still kicking myself for screwing up my alarm because I was really wanting to get out here in that early morning bite and it was on when I got out here. But it's it's died off now that the sun's come up. But we got this one. We got this one right here and that rod just got hit again. I just dropped it back down and it got hit again. I'll set this one back and see what he does. See what happens here. Uh, might be a flathead, might be a dink. I'm gonna try to land this one right fast. We'll at least get it done. See what happens. These people around here, you know, these bass fishermen, buddy, they get upset when you use these bass, but it'll work. It'll catch a fish. My favorite bait, but 
Times are hard. I use them. Somebody asked me. Somebody asked me in the comments of a recent video do I ever use catfish for bait? And then I have. I'll use small channel cats or even small blues. I'll cut them up and use them when times are hard. I've never caught anything big on them, but they're fair game too when I ain't got bait. Anything is. <laughs> All right. There he is, y'all. There he is. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna sit here a while longer now, I think. I'll probably give it another 10, 15 minutes just to see if some more fish are here with this one and maybe come through, Alex. I was getting ready to leave and go home and grab some lunch and I'll probably go out again later tonight. But uh, yeah, let's let this one go. I'll sit here a spell longer. I still gotta film an intro to this video, so we'll just, uh, we'll call that right there our closing in the event I don't catch any more fish and uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Shout out to Doug again. Hope you enjoyed the live show out here in front in your front yard there from the window. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.